No, they don't have it. Morning guys, uh, it is 7-11 in the morning. Um, at 8 I have clinical supervision, but before that I have late treatment plans that I have to get to. Long day ahead, so let's get started. So there's a good amount to do today. So I have to do treatment plans for the clients I'm responsible for. I am very behind on those. Then I have clinical supervision. I have a football workout that I have to get in for this league that I'm in. Yeah, that's me. Then other clerical paperwork and documentation notes for my clients. Then I have a date night with my lovely lady and a party later tonight. And uh, I don't think I'm going to have much energy left for that, but we'll get to it. For those of you wondering what the heck a treatment plan is, basically the client or family I'm working with tells me about the troubles they're facing and I ask them questions about their life, trauma, experiences. Uh, it's therapy, so you get the point. And then lay out a plan of what modalities and orientations may be helpful for them in either growing or healing. And supervision is what it sounds like, a clinician with way more experience than I have helping me help others. All right, guys, so supervision is done. I need to start getting dressed for my clients coming up. Um, but I will say the glyph system here on the Nothing Phone 2 is really, really nice. So, for example, during the meeting, I'm able to have this face down on my desk and have glyph notifications on the back here for, say, Twitter and Instagram. So if it lights up in that way, I know I don't have to worry about it. But I also have it set up for, like, texts from specific people and email. And so I know if I see those, there's a chance I might have to check it, right? So there's an email from, like, my job or from, like, a case manager manager about a client um, those are things that I know at a glance that I need to attend to Usually I'll take the time to make a heartier breakfast for myself with some eggs, uh, turkey, sausage, that kind of thing. I won't lie, I was running late and so uh, <laughs> grain cereal with protein is going to have to do. And just like everyone else, I breathe, I pay my taxes and I check my social media while I'm eating breakfast. Something that I do really like about the Nothing Phone 2 is the way that it handles multitasking windows in that you can split your screen but you can also have a dedicated window that will stay attached to a corner of your screen it'll stay snapped to a corner and when you click on it it'll go back to the center of your screen pop open and everything there is working as though the window's open i really like this implementation it looks slick and it feels great So something cool also is that in your settings, if you go all the way down to the experimental features, there's one for us Tesla owners. And so if you swipe down the notification bar, the top, and you'll see that it actually has different options for us. So the air conditioning, locker, unlock the car, and also the horn. <laughs> So usually before meeting with my clients, I like to make sure that I'm sort of centered and have a clear frame of mind, right? Because I want to make sure that I'm able to be 100% present with them, um, not bring any of my personal baggage into sessions because then I'm not able to be what they need me to be, right? Because I'm kind of caught on what it is that I'm, what I'm going through. 
And so usually I'll listen to like orchestrative music, choir music, classical, and usually in the morning I'll have my phone blasting uh, music while I'm either cooking or cleaning or just preparing my things for the session. And uh, I have to say that the Nothing Phone 2, the speakers are really, really good. And it's not even just that they get loud. but there's a clarity in the upper volume that you're getting on this phone. And I have to say that that's something that I've been really, really impressed with. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been really, really good. Now, another constant of my work, even if I'm not in a session, are phone calls, phone calls, and more phone calls. Usually with treatment care providers, insurances, and the actual headset that you're hearing other people through on the Nothing Phone 2 sounds really, really good and quality, much like an iPhone 14 Pro Max or S23 Ultra. Now, while I'm in these sessions, I thought I would leave you guys with a little nugget that has personally impacted me a lot. I found it in college, that being, don't let the fear of the time it will take to accomplish something stand in the way of your doing it. That time will pass anyway. I think that was something for me that was a bit of an obstacle where, you know, for say like graduate school, for example, I know I was going to have to do that for like another two years. This YouTube thing, this could take, you know, however long. But no matter what you're trying to attain in life, whether you take those steps towards what you want or you don't, that day, that week, that month, that year is going to go by anyway. Or take the steps you feel like you need to take to have that brighter future for yourself. The future you is going to thank present you big time. Okay, um, it is according to the Nothing Weather app. Um, I think the real feels like 100 and yeah, it's... Uh... Okay, so the screen is super reflective. You can't really make it out but you see the 108 right 108 108 you see it the actual degrees is 90 but the humidity all of that stuff um i'm in a football league and you know i like to make sure that i'm staying in like tip-top shape um because you know your teammates rely on you on a play-to-play -play basis yeah so even though it's hot i'm gonna get this work in and i'll bring you guys along with me So something I noticed is that with Bluetooth, it seems like the Nothing Phone 2 can't get quite as far away as say like my iPhone 14 Pro Max, 23 Ultra, Fold 4. On those phones, I can get like 15, 20 yards away before the Bluetooth starts to like sort of uh, fizzle out and disconnect temporarily. On the Nothing Phone 2, I can get like 10 yards away and then it starts to break up a little bit. I will say that like in the house, everyday use, I haven't run into that issue, but I come to the field a lot. It's something I definitely notice. So if you're active like me, don't have a sleeve for your phone, you might run into that issue here. Um, I have to charge the car. Whew. And uh, there's something cool that I wanna show you guys in there. So let's go. So when I was working out, I got to the field and the battery was at 71%. And I thought it was weird that when I checked it again to show you guys that it was overheating, that it dropped like 6%. I will say that the phone is still functioning. I'm still listening to Spotify. It hasn't shut down on me. Additionally, 
This screen can reach 1,000 max nits in terms of brightness. It is a perfectly sunny day. You guys are probably blinded looking at all of this. But this phone does a good job of being viewable in outdoor situations, even when the sun is directly on top of you. And all I was doing was playing Spotify. It was turned off. Um, I discovered that the reason, oh, well, part of the reason that it was overheating, I had the flashlight on like the entire time and I didn't realize it and that really took a number on the battery and even then we're still sitting at four hours and 21 minutes worth of screen on time uh, and we're sitting at 56% battery so this thing is doing pretty well I'm actually going to send a tweet out right now well I guess I'll send an X out right now maybe nothing that I'll let them know too. So I realized while editing this that this might seem like I'm sponsored by nothing and that they sent this to me. That's not the case. I spent my own $700 on this thing. It's more, you know, the social media game. Just trying to reach out. Send tweet. X. Now, to me, one of the most impressive things about the video footage on the Nothing Phone 2 is how much detail is retained in that HDR10 mode and retaining detail on the highlights and those high dynamic range situations. So as the Glyph Composer, uh, you can make some pretty cool beats with this thing. So I personally like 606 and Burr. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. So let's see this. And the coolest thing about this mini studio, outside of making you feel like a world-class producer, is that you can actually record and then assign any of these beats that you're making to different notifications in your Nothing Phone 2. This phone just oozes coolness, man. It's, it's a pretty sick device. Like, all of the little oscillations in the light, you feel that in your hand. The haptics in this phone are really good. I have to work on some of the beats. I'm on to something. The Nothing Phone 2 sports an IP54 rating, which means you shouldn't submerge it in water, but if you're in the shower doing some browsing or entering a text, you'll be okay. Now during this phone call and paperwork arc, something that occurred to me that was sort of in the back of my mind and really became apparent during the day up to now is that the Nothing Phone 2 feels amazing in the hand. Honestly, it feels nearly identical to an iPhone 14 Pro Max in the hand, except it doesn't have a flat back, it has a slightly more rounded back, and it's lighter in the hand, which I prefer a lot. You're looking at a difference of 201 grams to 240 grams, and honestly, that's definitely fell here. And for me, no notch at the top is a win. And once all the clerical things were taken care of, I had a little bit of downtime, was able to play one of my favorite games right now, Honkai Star Rail. And man, the gaming performance on the Nothing Phone 2 is excellent. The screen is crisp and vibrant, uh, the speakers are excellent when you're gaming, and you can play everything in maximum settings, which is something that a more recent phone, like say the Pixel Fold 2 and like the Pixel 7 Pro, are not really able to do at the moment. Um, but on here, you can max out everything, and the phone's gonna sing. Alright guys, so it is 5.53 p.m. I have 33% battery and uh, we're rocking at 6 hours and 29 minutes worth of screen on time, which I actually think is pretty good. Um, I've had a mix in there of normal everyday usage, so some YouTube, Twitter, or X, uh, messaging, emails, phone calls. Um, Spotify, Honkai Store Rail played some games in there, um, as well as the uh, flashlight being on for, man, probably like 45 minutes without me knowing, close to an hour. Yeah, so it's saying that my battery's going to die at around 10 p.m. tonight, and that's been pretty persistent, um, even from like earlier this morning, that was kind of the estimation it was giving me, and it seems like it's probably going to be about right.
the phone on camera looks so good, right? Here I got to sort of just decompress, be with my favorite person. Now we've been together for five years. Yes, in the chat you can do hashtag when are you proposing. I expect those to come. Um, but there's been a lot going on, and so having this time to decompress was really, really nice. No, that's been the requirement I've been waiting for. <laughs> if you were concerned about the fingerprint scanner, it is quick, consistent, and reliable. Every single time, the 1080p. 30 FPS HDR 10 on the selfie camera. I actually think this looks pretty good. Um, you get a lot of highlights in the back there, but pretty good footage, I would say. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks turtle for good or poop emoji for bad? I almost ran into this. Did you get that? Yeah. yeah I ran into that. a sign. So we love sushi, and she knew of this place called Mega Sushi in this town nearby us, and man, their sushi was really, really good. I will say that I think the Nothing Phone 2 does a really good job of taking pictures overall, though sometimes in that portrait mode, it struggles a little bit to actually snap onto the subject that you're trying to capture, and struggles a little bit with the outlines. But man, when it nails down exactly what it is you're trying to take the picture of, it does a fantastic job capturing moments. So something else too I notice is when you're taking taking portrait mode photos with this, um, there's a little bit of a shutter lag, and sometimes you get that in a 50 megapixel mode. <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's like a, a deal breaker, but it's something you're going to notice if you're using it. Now, while I think the Nothing Phone 2 does a really good job capturing ultra-wide and your standard-wide photos, uh, zoom simply is not really a strength here. It's nice that it's an option, but you're definitely not getting pictures like the S23 Ultra or even the iPhone 14 Pro Max, I would say. Um, Alright, so it is 8.29, I have 19% battery left, and we are at 7 hours and 18 minutes of screen on time. I've been taking pictures and video and it actually is saying now that it's the battery should die around 11 o'clock which is an improvement over it being 10, 10 30 earlier. And again that's with a mix of camera, social media, YouTube, playing some games. So I'd say the battery's pretty darn good on this. You could probably get a pretty comfortable eight hours of screen on time out of this device. And checking now on the Twitter thread from earlier, you guys sent a lot of really funny tweets. Uh, shout out to a couple of my good buddies, Fenson, Trenton Tech, um, Michael Pepper, Alex, Johannes. Uh, you guys had some pretty funny ones. If you guys are wondering what the noise is downstairs, there's a party happening in my house right now. Uh, my social battery is spent, um, but it's always nice having family over. This was my first ever day in the life, and I have to say that it was enjoyable and exhausting. Um, I think it's probably more tiring than most of you guys watching think it is. Uh, but it was fun. It was fun nonetheless. It was fun doing something new with you guys. And hopefully it gives you an idea of what the heck the Nothing Phone 2 is capable of. Which I would say after today, it's capable of a lot. Right now, it is 11.39 at night. I am at 10% battery. And we are rocking a strong 8 hours worth of screen on time. As with Twitter, texting, phone calls, all throughout the day using pictures, video, YouTube. I didn't get to play as much uh, in terms of games as I would normally like to. Um, there just wasn't any time, and as the days go by, that increasingly becomes the case. But as a whole, this thing is able to handle whatever you throw at it, I would say. And that's really cool to see from a phone that is like 7, 7, 5, 8, 8, uh, yeah. 
I've I've enjoyed this. If you're new here to the channel again and um, you're looking to check out a new tech reviewer who does tech stuff, I do that. Uh, hitting the subscribe button is the best way to stay up to date. Um, a like goes a long way to helping me out here on the channel. And I hope you're having an awesome day, afternoon or night, depending on the time it is you are watching this. And as always, peace, love, and adios. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Adios. And uh, do nothing. Do some... I don't know. I was trying to think of like a cheesy tagline to end this on that implemented the name. But do nothing doesn't sound... Done. <sighs> For the introverts watching, do you know what it's like to have your social battery completely drained? But then there's a party in your house at 1140 at night and you gotta, you gotta be social because you love them. They love you too. That's me right now, but it's, uh, it's a good problem to have. Have a nice night, guys.